My name is Corey Layton, and I am a case manager for the Student Support Services Department. Uh, my name is Mrs. Newsom. I teach American Sign Language and Physical Education. I'm James Feeberg. I am the AP Physics 1 teacher, and I teach Principles of Engineering and Engineering Design and Development. My name is Valerie Park, and I am a teacher. I teach uh, in the Biomedical Science Pathway. My favorite part of the job is definitely the relationships. Um, each morning I get, a, I get a walk into work and, and share a laugh with Miss Olivia and Miss Athena and everybody else in the main office. And the rest of the day I get to work with a great team of staff and students who are genuinely kind to each other. And I know that's, you know, sounds simple, but unfortunately it's, it's not the same everywhere. I love being able to do a lot of labs in class with students and um, really focus on that. Um, I think that's probably my favorite part about teaching the classes is that we get a lot of um, experiments done. Well, one of the things that I love is that we basically get to play with toys in all of those classes all day. So I love having the kids build. Uh, I love having the students create. I love doing experiments where we can just try stuff out. Let's see what happens and then talk about uh, the scientific principles behind what we observed in our lab. You can think of our team like a, like a pit crew at a NASCAR event. All right, so we have amazing students at Sage Creek doing amazing things with amazing teachers. Sometimes there's, there's something that's keeping a student from kind of reaching their potential. Um, and it's our job to help a student figure out what's going on, provide them with appropriate supports, and get them back out on the track as soon as possible. Physics and engineering uh, solve problems. And I think we have so many new and, and everyday increasing problems. And, and physics engineering is basically used to create better ways of life for all of us by solving these problems that we have. Um, well, I was actually, I came to SAGE when it first opened and I was just really excited about the prospect of a new high school and I knew that they were gonna implement this program and I read up on the program and I thought it'd be so much fun to teach and I applied for it and I was able to get the job. So, 11 years ago, they put out a request for department chairs to come to SAGE. I was a teacher at Carlsbad High School and thought it would be a great opportunity for my career and also to be on the ground floor of starting something great. We had a principal, Mr. Morales, that really wanted to have an innovative place and that was exciting and led me to apply and then get hired as our science department chair. Um, I think that the students and the teachers actually really define the school um, in terms of um, how we operate and how we treat one another and I'm really proud of what the school has become over the years. I feel um, very fortunate to be a part of this school and um, it's been a lot of fun so far. It was a tumultuous time. Our union was going through a big contract negotiation. Uh, it was right in 2008, 2009 after the financial crisis. Teachers were taking furlough days. There was a big, in the community, a big anti-Sage Creek movement because we were opening a new school, spending all this money, yet they were gonna cut school days and kids were gonna go to school less across the district. So there was a lot of fighting uh, in the community of should we open Sage Creek or should we not? Uh, but once we said, hey, we're going forward with this, it, it became this excitement. There was a, a need for a school that provided something that Carlsbad High School wasn't providing the community of Carlsbad. And once we got past those tumultuous times again, it, it really had this sense of this was gonna be something great. And here we are 10 years later, and it is pretty great at this school. There's, there's been a lot. Um, the, the heartwarming occurrence that kind of started all heartwarming occurrences, for me at least, was, was uh, our first year. A uh, student um, that I had the opportunity to work with named Caleb Strawn, um, who happened to have autism, um, and he's been, he's been open about uh, the fact that he was even nonverbal as, as a toddler. Uh, he wanted to be the ASB president, and he gave his ASB president candidacy speech, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, this is in the Bobcat Arena, 
And as we look around uh, his peers, right, a, a group of the inaugural class, freshman class, uh, were, were up on their feet, giving him a round of applause. And, and you saw the, the genuine uh, respect from his peers, and that was heartwarming. When we first opened the gates, I think there was a lot of a lot of emotions, a lot of things going on, a lot of hope, a lot of dreams, a lot of goals, a lot of trial and error, but um, mostly that of excitement, um, challenges. Um, we had we had big dreams and big ideas, and um, I think we still do. Um, I think it's changed a little bit over the years, maybe the goal and the direction that we're going, but I still think Sage Creek is one of the best places that you could be. It is a fantastic campus. Um, I think and I hope the excitement is still there. And, you know, as we continue to change and grow and kind of morph into who we are, that I just, I hope we always kind of keep that ability to dream and have those goals. So this is, uh, this is my good friend, Charles right here um, and he happened to be he used to be a custodian of ours right here he's at a, another site now and uh, in the 90s which as we know isn't a long time ago unfortunately the the KKK uh, decided they were going to try and march at a at a school in or at a park in Oceanside and uh, Charles was playing football there that day and way before Kaepernick or anybody else, he had the strength to take a knee right there and say, absolutely not, You're, you are not marching here today. Um, and this was actually a picture that was in a newspaper and I asked a student from Sage Creek to, to sketch it for me or to stencil it for me. Uh, so pretty amazing and I just, I feel like it, it represents Sage Creek and I'm extremely proud of, of my friend for you know, having the strength to do something like that. Mm -hmm.